Hey guys, welcome to Artistry Tips. Thanks for tuning into this video. I'm going to be attempting to do a twist out on my hair. It's been over two years since I went bald. Yes, I went bald. I didn't cut some of my hair off. I cut all of my hair off. And this is what my hair is looking like two years later. I've never straightened it. Um, I've worn it in a lot of protective styles, like for long periods of time, at a time. And yeah, I just want to try something new. Um, not even something new, something that I used to do with my hair all the time. I had locks in my hair since July, since right before my birthday I got my hair done. And then I would say early September I had got my hair retwisted. Like, not the whole thing, but like the perimeter of my hair basically. So it looked brand new. And I wasn't worried about it because my hair wasn't out and whatever. So, I just took it out last week and I just wanted to give my hair like a real break. Like, this is why it looks like this. This is why it's not in like no type of um, bun or or like any twist out or ready or did anything. Honestly, like I literally wanted to just let my hair breathe. Like, I had put um, leave-in conditioner in it and that was that. But I just wanted to let my hair just breathe and not have any tension on it so I just let it be free and this is what it looks like with just I don't know where this little white stuff came from like what time is that um but yeah this is what my hair looks like it um you see my curl pattern coming through in the back though um but yeah so I'm gonna do a twist out today and hopefully i'm going for a fluffy twist out so i won't be using any gel or anything um i'm going to be using water from one i'm gonna be using this cream of nature with argan oil from morocco um strength and shine leave-in conditioner looks like this nah this is what these youtubers be doing they be like they be trying to get it to focus it's like, do I have to press it? Okay. So this is what I'll be using. Leave-in conditioner. Alright. So this is the leave-in conditioner that I'll be using. Um, yeah, it's a little dirty. Don't even judge me. Because you know when you're doing your hair and your hands start getting messy and all the products. And then you gotta grab the product again to put it back in. So you gotta shake to activate this. I really like this line of products. Like... That's what I washed and conditioned my hair with. Um, I'll be using that water. I'll be using their mousse. And I still have the tags on them. So if you see the price, you see the price. It may not be the same price everywhere, but yeah. So that's that. Um, and then I'll be using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. I'll be using that. These are products that I used to use in my hair when I first, first ever tried to go natural in like 10th grade. So I'm just revisiting them, hoping that they're going to work. Like my hair is really a different texture now. So I have to really start over and just see what works for my hair and what doesn't. Because I have tried some things that I used to love that do not work for my hair anymore. Because my hair is just thicker and has tighter curls now. I'm not gonna part my hair super perfect or anything. Um, this not this really isn't a tutorial. It's more so of like let's see if this works together. Um, if it does turn out good, then I will definitely do an in-depth tutorial. Blah. If it does work out good, I mean, if it does come out good, I definitely will do an in-depth tutorial, step by step on how to achieve the look and what exactly I did. Oh my gosh, it looks like I got a bald spot. I probably do though, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I probably do like, 
I probably do. I'm not even gonna lie. Look, I oh my gosh, I have a bald spot. Jesus, I'm not the first hair video. I'm exposing myself, but I mean it is what it is. Like I cut my hair off, and I think also too is it's just having I had those fox locks in my head for a long time, and listen, it just is what it is. Like. I can't take it back now. So I'm going to just try and avoid y'all from seeing that side. <laughs> and I'm going to take my spray bottle. I'm telling you, if you don't have one of these spray bottles that sprays like this, go ahead and get you one. Because for the longest, I was still using the old one. And I mean, if you like the old one, then continue using it. But for me, I wanted to really... um. Once I tried it, I was like, oh, I see what the hype is about. Like, I see what the hype is about. So, I want to wet my hair pretty nicely. Like, I'm not going to say drench because I also do have the spray leave-in. But I want my hair to be pretty wet. And I want to try and finger detangle it before I put, um, before I use the denim and brush. Just because finger detangling is actually really good. It's just better for your hair. But my hair is it was dry. It was nappy. So we gonna we gonna get it right somehow, some way. We're going to get it right. And the curls is already coming through. You see what I mean? So yeah, let me open all of these products first before I start OTing. Oh my gosh, the Curl Hansen smoothie and this spray, they smell so good. So I'm going to wet the section, finger detangle it a little bit, spray it with, make sure you get the ends, spray it with the leave-in conditioner, right? Then I'm going to smooth that through with my hands. Take the denim and brush, brush it out, start from the ends, and work your way up because that's how you should detangle your hair. Like, look at the hair. I can't believe I cut my hair two years ago. Look at it. <laughs> look at my freaking hair. It's past the shoulder, honey. It's past the shoulder. All right, so we're going to take some Curl Enhancing Smoothie. It's like, I'm heavy-handed with products. So I don't even, you probably don't even need this much. But it's all right, we're just going to put it in there. We're going to put it in there. We're going to get it all at the root. Make sure you get it at the root. Oh, honey. Honey, y'all see the curls? Like, this is why I cut my hair off. I'm not even gonna lie because I knew my hair was curly. Like, I knew my hair, my hair used to be curly like this before I started straightening the OD. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited for this journey. And that's why I'm starting to record videos because I want you guys to experience this with me. So, I'm gonna take like two and a half, no, one and a half pumps of the mousse. And I'm going to put that on top of my hair instead of using gel. Right? Alright. I hope this comes out good. Because it would be a waste if it didn't. And I'm going to smooth my hair one more time. Brush it from all angles to make sure it's smooth. And let's see what I feel like doing. So I'm going to, hmm, I think I'm definitely going to start off with a braid because I just want it to be tight. So let's see, I'm about, you know what, I think I'm honestly going to just braid it all the way down 
but let's see i know i want to leave a good amount of hair on the foam rod i believe that's what they're called so let's see i'm just braiding regularly like regular three strand braid all right so i have about this much hair left i'm gonna comb it or brush it comb it whatever you want to call it and then i'm gonna take my foam rod or well, maybe i should comb it together instead of separately i was holding it in the three pieces that i had so i'm gonna brush it together and then i'm going to put it on I'm gonna smooth it, smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. Wrap my hair over that. And, all right, my braid is coming loose now, what the hell? Cause I did not want this much hair to put on there. I should have started a little lower. Dang, all right, you know what, the first one is like the, you do the first one and then you learn what you need to be doing. Cause really it should be a little down here, but that's all right. We just want to live and learn and do better next time. All right, so this is what I'm gonna be doing all over my head until probably I get up here, probably gonna, um, I don't know, we gonna see when I get up there. But this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna do it to the back. It's not that bad the way you stare. I know that I don't make things clear. I fall for you every time I try to resist. You can't get away. I'm chasing you to the next day. All I wanna hear is an empty play. Staring next to you. I'm done. I have 15 braids in my head. We're going to see how it comes out. I'm going to show you guys the back of it. I um, what the best that I could do. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave it in for the rest of today. Um, Friday, it's 728 right now. And I'm going to leave it in all day on Saturday. And then I'm going to also leave it in for partial of Sunday. I have somewhere to be, I believe, 4 p.m. So I'm going to take it out, i say probably around like 2. Hopefully it comes out good. If not, I will be putting it in a something. I don't even know. Hopefully it just comes out good. So this is what my hair is looking like. It seems pretty dry, I hope it's dry. Um, I'm going to use this olive oil to take my hair down. First, I'm just gonna take all of the rollers out. See how that, okay. The spring, the little curly end that I wanted is there, for sure. I 
try to keep these feelings to myself Now you're the one I'm thinking of My higher cover I get love For gravity I'd rather stay up We can get away Come to these waste fields on a night day All I wanna hear is a little bit of time we play Still right next to you So guys, this is the final product, okay? I really like it. I feel like it came out exactly how I wanted it to come out. I didn't have to pick it out. This is really just me separating. Um, I think that my hair probably would have been a little, even though I don't mind the frizz. I don't mind the frizz at all, but I feel like my hair probably would have been a little more defined if I would have um, applied the products straight out of my wash day routine. But like I said, I had just took my hair out from um, having a protective style in for months. So I really didn't want to do anything to my hair right away. I really wanted to just let it relax for a few days. But... I think the product combination is good. Like, let me try and show you guys the back. I don't even know what the back look like. Looks like. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, it looks decent. But I'm excited. I'm really happy with the way that it came out. I think I definitely am going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial for this. Um, to show you guys because I think the braid and then the ends of the curls on the foam rods that's what these are called foam rods I think it definitely gives a nice shape and yeah I'm just really happy like I can't even believe that I was literally bald two years ago Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you stay tuned for the actual tutorial coming soon, step by step, because I'm definitely recreating this style. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social media, and all of my stuff is linked in the description box. And until next time, thanks.